guys, Gotham Geek Girl here at New York Toy Fair 2020 at the DC Direct booth. Coming up, interview with creative director Jim Fletcher, sculptor Paul Harding, and then Brian Walters is going to walk us through and show us the whole new Welcome life. to, to toy, toy Fair 2020. 2020. That was maybe the best intro I've done this entire show. Yeah, I, I'm with you there. Yeah, supernatural. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, not supernatural, but supernatural. Oh, natural, perhaps. Well, anyway, we're here with, in the DC booth, in the DC Direct booth with our new name and with our one of our top sculptors, Paul Harding, who's worked on one of the coolest action figure lines we've done this whole year. Why don't you tell them all about it, Paul? Well, we're looking here at Deceased right now, which is a new comic book from Tom Taylor. Uh, you can see all the new prototypes that we have set up in the gray. And a first look, which is really exciting. First you guys look. are here. These were just set up yesterday, so they weren't even here the day before. Yep. Who are they, Paul? So, starting with, uh, who's this, Deathstroke, the Joker, Nightwing. Now, Nightwing's kind of funny because right now with no paint on him, there's Nightwing with paint. Right. down here and when Nightwing's not painted he's basically just a naked man running around in the background so with a massive head wound <laughs> yeah well that's kind of an issue <laughs> we have Harley laying down here crawling towards the camera uh, Aquaman and Batman Superman with the first look of Red Hood in the background yeah that's a really cool one I like what you do with this helmet on the side over there it's awesome that's, a, that's an exciting piece uh, Supergirl Flash and Green Lantern and you've got Batgirl at the end here, which is one of my, this thing is really awesome looking. The face, you must have had a lot of fun with the facial expressions on these guys. I mean. Because you don't get to do this kind of stuff for us too often, right? Right. These are ideal little tiny projects, you know, because yeah. you just get to turn good looking superheroes into the grossest things imaginable. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I think you worked with Ray on a lot of this to get a lot of the reference, right, for the right, faces. Right, right. Ray Tyra art directed this line, and uh, we just went back and forth on you know how far we wanted to go with the male characters versus the female characters huh what was it what was your kind of distinction that you came to with the difference in the faces with those two uh like with Batgirl's face I mean you know we know normally she's fairly attractive I mean right. I don't know about right. this so what was your like reasons it, for changing them it's it's important with the female characters not to go too far um you can't have too much corrosion like you could perhaps on like the this flash figure if you looked up <laughs> yeah. close so you you kind of want them to retain that femininity but have this evilness about it with cuts and lacerations and things like that yeah and the whole storyline they're getting there they're scratching off skin off their faces and right. infecting people and it's right. but they're great i'm really happy to have always happy to have you on board for work on our sculpts you bring a lot to the table on the the faces on these when ray was showing me those little heads right. it was so fun i'm like oh they're so ugly they're <laughs> really cool and creepy and it's interesting how they translate when they when after we 3d print them and put them on the prototypes and the production pieces mm. um they're fun to look at yeah especially neat when they're unpainted because like for uh like for red hood back here you can really see the detail in all the uh the scarring on the face especially when they're unpainted and they haven't been you know reproduced overseas yet it really retains all of Paul's really fantastic work on the details uh, but you did all the bodies for these originally as well so you're Correct. pretty you're pretty you are like Mr. DC Essentials <laughs> that's right and well you are an essential part of our team well, so thank, thank you so much Jim <laughs> okay <laughs> and, and it's a you perfect can edit segue. it out if you really don't like it <laughs> perfect segue to the Essentials line which is down below and the new six pack coming out with a, a repainted oh, Batman oh I thought you meant mine sorry oh, yes this was <laughs> And this wave, uh, maybe Jim can tell you about the characters. Sure. This wave, um, this wave got uh, really great reception when it went into previews magazine. I mean, the Speed Force Flash was something we haven't really tried much of that before right. with these translucent figures. This Batman looks fantastic. I actually like when they put the purple back in the back of his cape. Yeah. It really helps to find the silhouette of the character. It's funny. I will say on camera that Ray is really against this red Nightwing. He was he just loves the blue ones so A lot much. of Nightwing fans are, yeah. but I dig it. I think it's cool. Yeah. Red and black, how do you go with red and black? It's always a good fashion awesome. statement. And then Superman from, uh, you know, when he was after the uh, his destruction at the hands of Doomsday, mm -hmm. um, and he's got a little bit of his double still on his face there, and that was a that was a fun figure to do. We haven't done a lot of Superman stuff, right. and we've hardly ever done this one. Yeah, I'm Maybe really happy when, with the paint on the, this production. Right, it looks, it looks pretty looks great. It looks really nice. Yeah. And then the, the Justice League six-pack will be fantastic. I mean, if you haven't gotten them all before, it's a good time to go back. Just get them all in one place. So 
That's and now cool. is that just that's just a new paint variant yeah. on Batman or each each one? Yeah, each one has a slight different paint deco. The uh -huh. Superman's blue is a little different. They all have the slightly different deco, if not much. But right. and so yeah, so this has been a special installment of Toy Fair. We don't usually have superstar talent available on camera, but an exclusive for you guys. Yeah, you got it.